Uh, it's kind of loud, so. <laughs> really, 20%. I can barely hear myself thinking. Yo. Okay. So it's like that. <laughs> okay, so welcome to Tormented Souls. Hopefully, we can run. <laughs> I was playing the demo the other day it runs all right but for recording i have yet to test it out playing with the controller i'm uploading something in the background hopefully it's nothing too big because then again i have chrome running in the background so we'll see ah, i should have just put the v-sync on polished by pcube so enjoy the screen tearing for a little while developed by dual effects napster digital works I was going to record a Zelda ROM hack, but it's like, I think I will be uploading Zelda for a while, so I might want to just send this something in between, especially since I already uh, finished Metal Gear Rising. Oh god. I like this character, the design and all. A letter for me? I never receive letters. Some parts are voice act, some others aren't. Uh. From John Doe, whatever hospital, Blackwood, Canada, to Caroline Walker, whatever, 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 okay. So we're in Canada. Also, the fucking UI uses switch buttons because I, <laughs> because we're not doing a Xbox, th Xbox controller or PS3 controller or fucking switch controller. Why make three different settings when you can make just one? Ah, my head, what is that? What was that? A damage photograph of two girls who appear to be twins. Okay, same thing, okay. I know we're late for <laughs> for fucking horror games. But honestly, I didn't know what else to play for today. Do you think we, you just can simply abandon us here? Damn. It's been two weeks since I received that letter from the Wildburger Hospital. Since then, I haven't been fine. I can't get out of my head the image of those little girls. I can't sleep. And when I am able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. What's the meaning of all of this? I'm going to the Wildburger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. Is this per render or in real time? Not nah, really per render. But isn't it amazing that Unreal Engine or modern day engines generally allow for such full photorealistic environments <laughs> without the need of a full AAA studio? I mean, of course, you still need to flex that muscle, right? But. Damn girl, they done sneaking up on you. I like her outfit as weird as it is. You know, a dress and a leather jacket on top. It's kinda like sending mix mixed signals. But who needs who needs fashion eye when you got uh functionality? <laughs> Whatever that means. Anyways, I guess I should mention I'm going back to my old headset, even though it's probably going to cause me trouble. Ah, it's so loud! Also, I might need to censor a couple things here. I did not mean it to, to say it like that, but you know what I mean. Great, now I have to put Riona in the bags. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. The last time I was intubated like that, it was during my appendix operation. A little bile. 
Damn, this game is so loud. I mean, I can barely hear myself thinking. What, like you're scared? Scared of not be able to think? All right. Can I just change the option because I'll rather performance because fucking texture quality on high, very high. And maybe we can turn uh, V-Sync on. On real engine for thank you. <laughs> Let's give it a second. Probably recaching everything. Oh, it's my favorite part of doing Let's Plays. Fucking messing up. Motion blur. Ew. Messing up with the options in the game. Alright. Oh, it's now even laggier for some reason, I think. <laughs> I thought I took out motion blur or did it not save? That is not something you want to wake up to. I was going to say something and it was going to be so mean. <laughs> it, <laughs> what was it? I'm not going to say it, but it was to do with crying and, you know. Alright, <laughs> you get what it means. William Wildberg's diary. All right. Today is the happiest day of my life. After all the suffering we have endured the past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. But there is more. After all this time, she has returned to me. Okay, your reaction using Ellen Ellen R. Thank you. She looked at me with her eyes wide as if she had not seen me in years. That she was waking up from a dream. That is not all. Something else happened when I checked my watch to find the exact time at which the first baby Emma was born. As I opened the lid, the glass cracked, and the hands usually stopped. I do not think this event has some meaning or other. I am not a superstitious man, but Maria insists that it is a sign. She has started, she has started using the hour as her lucky number, and it uses it for everything. Uh, you know, say the time right because it's probably going to be like that or whatever. Okay, the fucking skirt physics. Come on, <laughs> don't leave it on default. All right, resources. Oh, yeah, I get flower skirt pants. Okay. Cool, cool. No. It's probably going to be more of those. Cool. What is it like? Oh, we can actually check shit. Cool. Padlock is holding in its place. Okay. An old pocket. Why is this latch on, on the ground? So. <coughs> It's an old photograph of two young twins. Uh, I want to see the lucky number. Alright. Uh, so this is a large one. It's like, what? 15, 30, 45. Just count the fucking dials. <laughs> All right, because hmm, should be twelve, right? Twelve thirty something. All right, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it won't be a problem. <laughs> Ten controls, whatever. Station C. Ten controls, whatever. The path to the CD. Can I also use a cross? Press an X run. Okay. What the hell is this? Space. 
Oh, yeah, tank controls. <laughs> the the easy sway of the skirt is bothering me. I know in the way you're thinking. Don't let the shadows embrace you. What does that mean? What what could it mean? Listen, I can seem to open it. Uh, so we're going to put a mother tree reference. Looking for a dark knob. Alright. Oh, with these. Ah, oh, brown like with blue jeans. Track. Just making sure there's no mysterious pocket here that is like, oh, you should have checked the pocket. Bad end. What was it connected to the respirator? Hmm, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I mean, this is a different outfit, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, the scared physics kind of bother me a little. I like this better. It gives her more style, but again... <laughs> Whatever, man. We're already, we're adults. Oh, moron. Probably like 12 or 30 something, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> See, I didn't, need, I didn't need to remember shit. Okay, cool beans. Yo, fucking range magic, let's go. The jaw size is adjustable. Oh, okay, so probably we can use it for the now then. Slap on me now. It can be modified. So I need to actually do this thing. Let's start with this. Not then open it more. <laughs> You're really going to make me go manual and everything. Escape East Wing Corridor. If you start lying a lot, I might need to start thinking of options. Lowering the screen size. Running on window mode. And hopefully the NVIDIA graphic cards actually kicked in because that's another thing that happens. Oh, you're running a 3D application? Seems to be demanding on the other CPU. God, God, good thing it ain't me. <laughs> Help me out. <sighs> uh, what type of monster we're going to be seeing? Well, a lighter. Just checking everything. You think it has like Billy Cohen or something? And we need a name. Ah, oh, thank you. Here's what I wanted to have. Equip. All right. I'm going to presume this is infinite, and I won't need anything more. If that if that all start moving, I'm going to be slightly annoyed. The fucking <laughs> the decoration of this place throws me off. It looks like an old place, and yet you can see plastic bench. Come on, posters. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's all explained within reason. But we'll see. Ah, uh, yeah, pretty modern. It's long, it appears to open electronically. Alright. God, the fucking graphics though, again. <laughs> Check out the graphics. My brother says that every time. And it's because of a very peculiar reason. Oh, it's a map! I guess we're here. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> also, I like this, thank you. That it just says both controls. Keyboard and mouse. <laughs> Keyboard, mouse, and the controller. Oh, I like that animation. Just walking down, it's like, uh oh. That's good, attention to detail, I like it. 
Judith beheading color furnace painted by that guy. Syrian general stand after charming him. The record truck works sustaining. This looks kind of fucked up. Someone looks like the original. Oh, okay. It's a, it's a printed copy. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, check out the graphics. There's something uh, that I don't like in this game, it's ring a lot, but let's give it a shot. 6th of June, 1963. I was terrified of what William will do when he finally saw my naked skin, but my fears were unfounded. He accepted me, even with the scars on my back left by my father's whip. Ouch. William asked me why he did it, of course. I explained that the pain was to redeem my sins. William will never look at my father the same way again. Guess he wouldn't. <laughs> oh no, the handle won't burn, there are symbols on the keyhole. <sighs> what is this? Creation history, Adam and Eve, fucking aliens? <laughs> Bees? Ah, I don't know. <sighs> Let's check some other place. I think there was that one medical door but we didn't, that we didn't open. You know, these wild camera changes just made me want to. Use it. Sorry, use the tank controls. Waiting room. <laughs> I guess we'll wait here. Oh man, I should be running this stupid timer. Only because I'm using a full screen application and usually I cannot see how much time I have been recording or whatever. Start though. Eh, probably already a few minutes in. Oh, that one. Sure. You know, it's, I'm pretty sure it's just the wind. Clip of nails can be used with the nail. Ah, so we're talking about weaponry now? Damn, okay. Let's see if we can, you know. Also, I think I might want to increase the volume back because I think it's now ambient noise and it's kind of low and I'm not really getting into the mood. According to the latest archaeological discoveries on Winter Lake Island, the Timsuit tribe resided on the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of this is an ancient underground cemetery found deep within a cavern on the island shore dating from the 10th century. More than 286 skeletons belonging to 10 year old children have been unhurted so far in the underground cemetery. All the bones were buried in pairs, and the experts suspect that these were the twins buried together. For some reason, I guess. Also, I have no idea how the monsters look like in this, in this game, so... I think what's going to happen is that I'm going to get the shit scared out of. We're going to get out of whatever we're going to go into, and then we're going to get out. <laughs> and we're going to see that the doll is not going to be there. And I'll shit myself. Promptly. Oh, it seems like a safe room though. The fuck is this? <laughs> Plastic heart, alright. So we're messing with that. Hey look, it's one of those. A detailed mannequin of human torso. Okay, yeah, I got it, got it. So much to explore. Seven inch stain that can be used to record. To record information. Oh, so that's how we're going to do it, I guess. All files, nothing interesting. It's not plugged in. So, so let's plug it in. What are we waiting for? I mean, I want to check on that. Oh, what the fuck is it's covered in blood? God, it reeks. I don't know to leave the sheet. And don't. This might have injuries. Alright. We're getting stuff already, which means we're going to get into combat real soon. I guess this is our safe point. Come on. All right. An old magnetophone. It looks like it works. Recording my progress might be useful if anything happens to me. Someone else might be able to pick My it up. My name is Caroline Walker. I came to Wild Burger Mansion seeking information about two girls in a photograph I received in the mail a couple of weeks ago. 
The last thing I remember before losing consciousness was arriving at the hospital and entering the mansion's main hall. I remember pain and then nothing. I woke up sometime later connected to a ventilation machine and my eye had been removed. Why? Why would someone do such a thing? I don't know what the hell is going on in this place, but I need answers. Every time I close my eyes, I see those girls. Am I going insane? Don't say anything mean now. Progress save. <laughs> okay. Time to get out of here. I see the stupid baby's not there. Okay, she's still there, which is still creepy. Don't do anything funny now. Pharmacy service windows. I can't see anything on the other side. All right. I tend to use a crank, I guess. Yo, what happened to bro? And and hang socket. All right. Jesus. <laughs> Oof. A vending machine, it's out of order. Yeah, just some weird stuff slap on it, each other. I'm pretty sure it's all all within lore, right? I mean, it's not me just being a dick. Slow it appears to be open electronically. Like, oh, this was an old mansion that was used for awful things, and then they were like, let's make a hospital out of it, sure. And bad things happen because bad things happen in the first <laughs> the, the first time around in this building. Anyways, what's he saying? Oh yeah, check out the graphics. My brothers always say that because when the 360 release, but mainly the PS3, you know, they had like those kiosk demos at Target, Walmart, and whatnot. I remember we were playing. I don't know if it was a GameCube or what. Hold on, did, did that was an optical illusion that was someone's big move? Yeah, kind of just shape. Anyways, and there was this dude looking at the PS3. I think the only thing he said. Repeatedly, multiple times, it was check out the graphics. Uh, said it <laughs> multiple times, repeatedly. But it was that age, right? With everything, it was like, oh my god, the graphics, dude, fucking can see dick in my ass. <laughs> oh, there it is. This is the handle, okay. Now we need a square, whatever thing. I mean, because it was like that. Oh my god, PS3 has the best graphics, but it has no games. <laughs> I don't care about the geometry. I want to play some games. <laughs> All right, Doctor William Wilberg. Since the patient health is extremely delicate and the transfer could worsen their condition, I will advise against transferring them to the new hospital. The patient was, has cardiac insuffic insufficiency and requires immediate transplant. The patient passed away at 11.34 okay, 11 due to cardiac arrest at the time of their death. They were holding onto the metal object. So there were multiple people. Anyways, with the rapid onset of rigor mortis, I have been able to remove it from their hand. Damn, must have been two people there. Anyways. Uh, uh, uh. Basement East. I think we're going to get a nail gun. This Dutch angle, alright. <laughs> Damn. You know, he went that way. Maybe I should follow because he was probably esca escaping from something a lot scarier. Speaking of which, he's been mutilated. What the hell is going on here? Well, at least. <laughs> How do I say it? <laughs> the fucking light source that we have casts a shadow, so we cannot see under this, this skirt. So it stays tasteful. <laughs> For a while now, at least. How tasteful can it be when we got Rihanna within the first five minutes? <laughs> Speaking of tasteful, it's locked from the other side. Oh, okay. So how this fucker got got out of here? Anyways, he just <laughs> bailed out of existence. Oh no, he's with us. Mm. 
Uh, for the monsters. <laughs> Again. I guess this is the let's get out of here and run segment. It's like from the other side. Here's when we know if these guys can open doors. The fuck? You seem to chill for being here. What the hell is going on here? My child, you are pale. What happened to you? <laughs> what the fuck thing happened to me? A person in a wheelchair with knives in his hands was chasing me. Oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I certainly don't remember coming here before. I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? The patients and the hospital personnel have been transferred to the new hospital in town. This old mansion has been left pretty much abandoned. Why are all the lights off? I don't like this. Anything could be lurking in the dark. I feel the same. Something evil is happening here. Something wicked that hides in the shadows. Is there a way to turn on the lights? The old generator has been playing up. It happens sometimes. Go to the end of the hall and through the door that leads to the generator room. You can restore the power from there. I see. I'll do that. Wait. Take this with you. It's not much, but it might be useful. It's dangerous to walk around the mansion unarmed. Thank you, Father. But what are you going to do without a weapon? Thank you, Father. But I thought you were saying that there were no weird things around here and, you know, everything looks so chill. So why a weapon suddenly? My child, with a Bible in my hand, God protects me. Parenthesis here. <laughs> uh, don't do that. <laughs> You're the fucking nail gun, did my far pressure to increase the power? Right. Cool. I mean, God will protect you, but don't put yourself in harm's way, you know? All need the willy. Be. Left trigger, right trigger, and you can back touch. All right. I don't like that. So you just back dash. You cannot move. <laughs> All right. Also, I kind of don't like. I mean, maybe I'm just not saying this right. Right? Not plugged in. But I think you cannot equip either. It's either one or the other. Come on, tell me the structure again. Well, maybe it's with, we have like files. It's because this is like what? Oh, to reload it's V. I thought it was like auto equip. Guess not. Point shoot and backlash. All right. Backlash is <laughs> is a godsend in these type of games. Cry of fear says as much. I came here looking for information about the two girls in this photograph. I see. What do you want to know about them? Anything really. I was hoping to find some leads around here. A dimension. I don't know what you're looking for, but I can tell you. These girls are no longer with us. There was an incident some decades ago where they disappeared, never to be found again. That sounds terrifying. Terrible. Indeed, if you want more details, you could try the mansion library. I'm sure you'll find something there. Thank you, Father. Take care. I don't know if they like record the lines and then change the subtitles or something, because uh, as you can see, sometimes it doesn't say what they say. 
but whatever. This is like an indie production, so I'm not going to hold it against them. <laughs> that is to say, it shit happens. Little saucy. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can do anything with that now. Oh, nice. Good thing we have. We're in a hospital and we can find supplies, Nelly Willie. Today is one of the happiest days of my life. William came running into the room, searching for something. His, eye, his eyes travel around the room, giving me no more than a few seconds of attention. But then, look at me again. His eyes open wide. William came to me. I put, I put a hand on my forehead. It wasn't his, though. <laughs> okay. He pressed his fingers into my wrist and looked at me for a few seconds, unbelieving. His voice faltered when he spoke. We're going to have a baby, he said. I felt sick. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> William took the rest of the day off. He acted like a child, laughing and speaking of the future, holding my hand the whole time. That night, we heard a noise coming from the underground. It sounded like metal being struck over and over. We could not find sleep until early morning. Eh, that's annoying. <laughs> A well-worn crowbar. I guess we can use this to get the fuck out of here. It's not plugged in. Uh, probably... I was thinking, do I need to do something? And he's like, oh yeah, the generator. <laughs> you dumb bitch. <laughs> well, let's go and do that. Oh, yo. Ah! Oh, so is that a game mechanic? Like being in the dark? Okay. Yeah, play this shit open. Let's go. Generator room. Yeah, because I think it was getting a little too grainy there. Hopefully I know how to operate a generator, because messing with electricity, not a good idea. There's an issue with the electric generator. The pressure of the gas must be exact for it to ignite. The correct pressure is written on the control panel. Alright. Again, don't mess with that shit if you know what you're doing. <laughs> Gonna blow it into smithereens, considering. Don't unlock. Yeah, but it's the same room with the other gun, right? Is he still here, though? I need to do a quick turn around. He's still here. <laughs> Let's leave him. He's gonna be fine on his own. Generator room. Okay, now we have we have the map. Small ball appears to have fallen off something. Hmm. Okay. We're collecting bits and pieces. I'm glad to know our gal has. God damn it! Has an eye for things. I did not mean to say it like that. I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> I guess English is a second language. I mean, I usually say things that I know their meaning and their intent, and usually it's like, oh yeah, we get away to trying to convey what I'm trying to say. Because, of course, more of the more times than not are colloquial phrases. And sometimes may not exactly fit the situation or be proper thing to say. What did I say was? The pressure of the gamma is the nine, the color pressure is written on the control panel. This control panel. Which control panel? 
Alright, we gotta glass. Nice. Because these down here seem to make you go up. But I don't know exactly how much this needs to be. And again, I don't want to be fucking around with... <laughs> With none of this until I know exactly what I need to do. Oh. What about this area? Okay. Anything else for me? Or am I being dumb? Oh, wait. Is this then something? I was probably not very really right, but. Okay, let's do then something and see what happens, alright? I didn't want to say this before, but I guess I'll say it now. Our girl's gonna take. <laughs> <laughs> That's all of it. Hmm. Okay, before I just do like. It needs to be at 9? Is that what you're telling me? We'll be here while. Especially because the trial and error is going to make me do this back and forth then, so... Or maybe it needs to be at 11, so when it janks, it just reaches 10. Okay. Okay. Wait, hold on. Did I do that right? Okay, yeah, 11. <laughs> Let's crank it to 11. There we go. <laughs> Ain't your boy a genius? <laughs> Damn, this looks like a fucking tech demo. <laughs> looks <laughs> suspiciously good. Where's the guy? He's not going to be there anymore. Oh, where's he gone? Should I unequip this or. I guess we just leave it. Excellent word, my child. You may find what you're looking for in the library. How can I find the library? It's on the second floor of the East Wing. Take the stairs in the main hall. Oh, you'll need to unlock the door in the waiting room. Thank you. Take care, Father. Stop plugging the plug it in. <laughs> well, it's probably just machinery, not a server or something, whatever. Oh wait, <laughs> yeah, the sample. So, God damn, I keep using, get opening that. Okay, just you know. I can also probably just you know walk around it, which I will argue will be the best option. But I don't know who this thing attacks. So, oh you fucking asshole! Are you there? No, you're not. Okay, now you are. <laughs> Piece of shit. Anyways. Hmm. <laughs> the fucking skirt! <laughs> Couldn't you set it up to be a little bit more heavy? <laughs> Place a little too much. <laughs> and I mean, I'm not, I'm not a brute guy, you know, your boy's kind of a freak, but, you know, time and place. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, where's it going? Okay. It's wing corridor. Alright. 
How long is this game? I have no idea. But it's probably going to do the Resident Evil thing. Main mansion, probably courtyard, and then laboratory. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> More good readers than like the darkness. Understandable. Oh, more nails. But can we like holster this thing at least? Because I don't like creating a light source. Just <laughs> kind of demanding. That is shitty hard to attack. Okay. Huh. We were talking about having things electronically locked, right? So from the other side. How do we know that? Well, I guess it's just one of those doors, probably. <laughs> Damn aliens! Okay, well, I guess I don't have anything for this, so... This is now open. Maternity world. Oh. The four of indoors is standing next to a patient. She seems thrilled. Ugh, I don't like that. Lucas Houston, I mean, Chief Electrical Maintenance, uh, 245. The nurses told me that the lamp was malfunctioning in the maternity ward. When I turned on the lights, I could see that the one that one of the bolts in the wall was indeed flickering. All I was getting, as I was getting ready to change it, a man came out of nowhere and grabbed me by my shoulders, pushing me back with the strength unimaginable for someone his age. He told me not to touch it. I didn't want to argue with him, so I simply left. I can't stop thinking about it. But did the old man prevent me from touching it? I should check it out. Don't leave us in the darkness. That's where they lurk. Oh, full of various medicines. Anything useful for us? It's not. Can be used with an alien. Alright. Hmm. I like that the environment looks like pre rendered Resident Evil, just actual rendered. You know, like the remake. I'm pretty sure it looked better if I actually had it on the higher settings, but you know, performance. Oh, there's some motherfucker here. Oh, is I don't want. <laughs> God damn it! Are we really going to? Nothing happens. Are we really going to play fucking? What's the name of that game? We call it Operando in Spanish, but you know. <laughs> But you know the one. The word switch off. Good. <laughs> Good is better. Cause she just was left open in the middle of the procedure while the whole car is missing. What is missing? Damn, girl. I shouldn't grab that, okay? I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> it's like, the game could have just gave me a game over right there, and I would have said, you know what, fair enough. Yes, I need the heart piece. Hover <laughs> Not sure we want to have this person, you know, be alive. Current situation. But can we try this again, though? Well, I mean, that probably maybe other half, anyways. <laughs> because you know when they do the fucking like chess battles, it's like clear, and then they just jolt it. Because if that motherfucker touches someone else while getting jolted, I guess what happens. So me trying to grab the fucking handle. Guess what would have happened? I'm gonna get hit. Okay. <laughs> I would have get shot too. So you know. 
Oh my god. Was I? Oh, I was here before. Do you mind your own business or? Oh god, they're coming after me. <laughs> okay. Okay, Carolyn just. <laughs> Carolyn is such a protagonist name, alright? No, Caroline, just go back. <laughs> just one down, leave, and then reset the room. Oh, good amount is my health. Caution, okay. I'm pretty sure we can leave it until red and we'll be fine. Where's that fucking? It wasn't fully dead. Motherfucker! <laughs> he was there just chilling. No, oh shit. I guess I'm just going to go <laughs> and start blasting. I wasted that. I'm pretty sure I wasted some ammo there. Yeah, you're not doing fine, so let's hit you up with this. One more? Okay, fine. Yo, this fucking asshole just ran away actually. He's dick. You alive still? Okay. Now we're golden. The Nightmare, painted by Henry Fuseli, 1781. Picks a woman in a deep sleep with a demonic incubus crouched on her chest. This recreation is amazing, some like the original. Why creepy paintings in a place, you know, last thing you want? I think we, I say this in Afraid of Monsters too. Well, that was part of David's psychosis. Or trip, whatever you want to call it. Pretty sure we put this here, but you know, doesn't fit. What do you mean? Oh, okay, yeah, shapes. <laughs> I'm the idiot. Forget it. It is something here, though. Oh. Dentist room. Ah, oh, goddamn it! Another fucking asshole. Ready to get shot. Shooting you the back of the fucking head. Oh, God damn it. Oh. Can I actually use the crowbar? Oh, caution again. We need to aim it. Try <laughs> Got fucked up. Wow, did I actually use all my healing items? God damn it. She can actually backwards. Alright lady. Seventeenth September nineteen forty one. As I crept quietly behind my father, the clock struck one thirty AM. I saw him enter the mausoleum after placing placing three elements of some kind of board. He went through he went through quietly. I followed him at a distance, trying not to make a sound, for I didn't want to get caught. At mother's tomb, my father sank his knees and rested his hands on the cold sculpture marble figure of his wife keeping and praying. Follow him at a distance, that makes sense. Okay. I feel guilty following him, seeing the cold and calculating man this way moved me. Oh my god, there's a lot of this, okay. <laughs> yeah, fucking <laughs> lack of reading here. All right. I was about to leave when father stood up and approached the angel statue. Mother's marble tomb suddenly moved slowly to the side and exposed a narrow staircase leading into the darkness. 
He climbed down the stairs. I hesitated for a moment, my legs not wanting to take another step, but was able to stand and follow him down. Once inside, I heard metallic sounds and the echo of running water. A few moments later, I bumped into a ladder. I climbed down and found myself into a long stone tunnel covering pipes and sewage. I saw Father Silhouette turning a corner and hurriedly followed. Bef before me appeared a huge metallic door and a group of men wearing strange suits like those worn to protect from radioactivity. Each carried a giant hammer. My father joined the group, and they received him by hitting their hammers together. A hospital bed on each side of the group carried what appears to be bodies covered in sheets. My father put, put on one of the disturbing suits. In my frightened and stupor, I loosened a brick from the wall. It smashed against the floor with the sound of a thousand buildings crashing down. I could feel their eyes turned to me as I fled back the way I came, their guttural voices screaming to catch me while they hit their hammers on the ground. Well, if you wrote this, I presume you're fine now. It's in good condition. X-ray images help. The doors in Singapore are neatly arranged. <laughs> Can we get some? <laughs> oh, maybe something here, you know. I see a medic bag over here, so I might want this. Oh, it's probably another part of the heart. Plastic heart, okay. Oh, come on. Okay, I guess now we go back to the other place. Okay, so we might want to equip that and lower it. Though, they might want to keep the girl for a little while. Was her health in caution? Alright, what's here? Medical books, nothing useful. Okay, so I think we got what we were supposed to get here, so I'm leaving. They're not giving me the grips, wonder why. What was this, everyone? And I don't have more tape, right? So I better don't get killed. Can I hear this fucking thing? <laughs> giving me the grips. Alright. Alright, I guess we can go back to that other room, whatever it was. Well, I mean, it don't fit. Well, then I guess this is a caricature of a heart, not an actual heart. <laughs> so something else must be done. Oh my god, something in my eye. There's always something in my eye. Oh, yeah, the light bulb. Dumbass, that's exactly what I told you, and you didn't <laughs> do jack shit. Okay. Let's go deep within the dark little room. <laughs> so, where's the big room? Oh, God. Okay. Oh, there's another thing. Cool. Because it's a little dark. I was thinking, well, the game loaded, but it's probably use a mirror and. Mmm. They sleep! <laughs> God damn it! Where is Manicus? I kept under these sheets. Glad you saw that by yourself and didn't record my input. Ah, uh, but they are not going to miss the chance, are they? Because I'm pretty sure they will. Why is the music racking up? Well, this asshole is going to move. And unfortunately, everything looks so photorealistic that 
It's not like, oh, these are just static props. No, they could just start moving and it wouldn't look out of place. Oh, wait, just to examine probably. I could light this candle, then light it up. Some redstone contraption here, fucking Minecraft. That was a tad spooky, I'll say. What am I missing with that fucking magic now? Okay, now we're, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, now we're reaching into different realms of fiction. Because maniacal instruments and whatnot, got it. Fucking Dark World, Link Between Worlds, Link to the Past, now we're dealing with magic.